Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Praetorian, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 as we are playing with the Turkish Socialist Republic in the Road to 56 mod. All right, guys, so, uh, yeah, as expected, <laughs> some some people did, were a little bit, um, did, well, disagreed a bit uh, with the idea of, of being at peace and not jumping into this war with Iraq, um, saying that, you know, the best case scenario is that they don't join the faction and uh, join the, the, the Axis faction, then we can quickly destroy them and get some land here, uh, with the worst case scenario um, just being they join the Axis and big deal, you know, we wanna fight them anyways. Uh, but you know what, I don't think that's entirely accurate. Um, <laughs> like I said, the worst case scenario is that they join the Axis and then the Axis stomps all over us. Uh, I, I feel like uh, taking this time to prepare our divisions, um, to get them built up to what the AI has, uh, I think is a smart decision. I think that it's it's very, very wise. Um, and frankly, we can't declare war on Iraq either. I, I don't think people, um, some people might have missed that, uh, that we can't declare war on them. Uh, we don't have a war goal on them yet. We're getting one right now, and the Soviet Union won't allow us to join their conflict. Um, uh, join wars. Uh, yeah, they don't want us to join right now. Uh, so we couldn't declare war anyways. We have to wait till we get this, uh, uh, this uh, national focus, which we're going to have in 69 days. So the ideal is that hopefully uh, we should be going to war with uh, the Assyrian Empire in this episode. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't think it's a bad ideal for us to uh, make sure that our troops are are ready for this conflict. Uh, we're going to put put these guys over here because uh, yeah, I, I feel like um, I feel like if, if we went to war with uh, the access before we're ready, uh, we could very well see uh, that a, a very quick defeat, guys. Very, very quick defeat. Let's go and put these guys over here. It seems that a lot of our troops are uh, getting their training done. So let's go ahead and grab up all the ones that are uh, here and put them into that red army. Um, I don't know how many of these guys are here. I should have checked. Uh, looks like all of them. Okay. Uh, so let's go and get these guys uh, going onto that red front. Awesome. So they can work on their preparation bonuses. Um, and I think most of the rest of them are going to be on this front here. Uh, I believe some of these these blue army troops need to go into the training army as well. Uh, looks like Bulgaria did cancel their lend lease probably because we just pumped a bunch of troops onto their that front with them, uh, or maybe something like that. I don't know. Maybe they're suspicious of us. <laughs> uh, let's go and grab some of these guys and put them into the training army. Uh, probably all of them actually. Yeah, let's go and grab them all up. Uh, put them in the training army. They can train on on this front here. Uh, main reason why I put them over there is I just wanted them on the front. Um, not just to actually invade here, the fall of Stockholm. Oh, wow, was no one safe? How did it fall? Oh, the Germans and Italians are doing naval invasions of uh, Sweden. Looks like they're also attempting to launch an invasion over here. All right, so uh, Sweden might collapse soon. We just have to take a look. Uh, might give up. Uh, they're currently 47% towards capitulation. Remember, uh, Soviet Union is invading from the north as well. Uh, I doubt the, so the Swedish have too many troops along here. Um, yeah, uh, very interesting. The uh, Soviet Union is really uh, focusing on defending their their uh, coastline. Like, look at all the troops they have all across here. Uh, looks like something else might have happened as well. Um, Portugal canceled their land lease. Uh, and then, yeah, just look at all the borders here. They've got divisions covering the entire... I mean, this one's completely pointless because nobody can even invade over here because uh, nobody can get access to that. No enemies, anyway. Yeah, so I don't understand that. Um, looks like we got some more troops done, so let's go ahead and get them uh, put into our armies. I don't know where all these guys are supposed to go. Um, I'm just kind of like <laughs> winging it here. Uh, how many of these guys are supposed to be going into the red army, and how many are gonna are supposed to be going into the blue army? Uh, we might have to change some things up as we go here. Uh, like these guys here, um, I almost think we should go ahead and throw these ones onto the red army, uh, but the other two are gonna be going to that blue army, I believe, or the other three, excuse me. Yeah, let's go ahead and throw the the other three onto the blue army, just because I don't I don't know how many are are needed over here. Uh, let's just take a look at this front here. Uh, looks like we should have one division in every province. Yeah, that looks good. So let's go ahead and throw them onto this front. I think that's where we're gonna where we're gonna need them. Uh, these guys need to get thrown into the training army as well. So let's get them training up. And uh, hopefully by the time that we uh, get this, we'll be able to, to go to war here. Uh, but yeah, I think, um, damn, this, this fucking thing is dragging over. Uh, you know, the uh, second console, or the second monitor worked really, really well in the sense that I can see uh, the timers. I don't need to use my phone anymore, which I always forget to use, so that's a real pain in the ass. So I really like it. I also like being able to see when I'm recording. That's really convenient. Um, I was, you know, something you're always worrying about. You're always looking at it like, am I recording right now? I'm not entirely positive since I don't have the overlay uh, using OBS. So I really like using it, but man, the uh, every time I go off the screen a little bit uh, and then it starts scrolling over, that is really frustrating. I need to see if there's a way to lock my mouse on this monitor. 
uh, so I can use the other monitor, but I don't. I can't actually go over to it. Uh, that would be really, really nice because I don't need it. Um, and what are these guys doing? Why, why don't they go over to this front? Uh, it seems that they're having issues. They're saying uh, there's going to be supply issues over here. Um, hmm. Well, let me just take a look at the supply situation here. And then we take a look at the infrastructure here. Uh, we could build the infrastructure up a little bit right there. Uh, another thing that we need to do, let's go and take that down to the bottom. Uh, let's take a look at the infrastructure all throughout these areas. Um, we're at fours. We're going to be at fours here. I would love to get up to fives, but there's really no point because we'd have to be fives all the way across. Um, and we're not going to be able to do that at the moment. No, no, that's not an option. Uh, what we're going to do, though, uh, we're going to go ahead and start building up uh, fortifications here uh, for a fallback in case uh, in case we have to fall back. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm not going to build all the way across here because I don't think we, we can. Um, I don't think we're going to have the time. Uh, just looking at how much time we have, no, no, we're not going to have the time not to build up a real defensive network. Instead, what I'd prefer to have is to have a fallback in case, just in case, we uh, lose the offensive. The ideal is to not lose the offensive. Uh, but yeah, we're going to just build it this way. We only have to build in two. And we get to hold our air base here. I think that'd be the uh, best thing to do there. Uh, we'll take that down to the bottom. Uh, and I think that'll work out. We'll, we'll start working on that. Uh, first, we'll do the infrastructure, though, because obviously I think that's more important at the moment. Um, and naval base is good over there as well. So yeah, we don't need to mess with that at all. Uh, let's take a look at our troops here. Anybody done? They still got a lot of training to go. Uh, a lot of equipment to get as well. Just looking at the equipment situation. Uh, pretty shitty here. Uh, but yeah, if any of you guys know how I can lock my uh, mouse, I, it's got to be possible, right? You'd think it would be. Seems that we're trading for some stuff we don't need. And before we do anything about that, let's let's first take a look at our factories here. Uh, see if there's any adjustments I want to make. Because um, I know that we're doing fairly well on the light tanks and uh, light self-propelled artillery right now. So I'm almost tempted to pull from those and put into the infantry equipment because we're really hurting on infantry equipment, anti-tanks, and artillery. Um, so yeah, I think we might pull pull from those. Let me just kind of take a look here. Uh, maybe also pull from fighters. Although I would like to continue building those fighters. I think that'd be a good idea. Uh, let's instead, let me just take a look at the stockpiles for light tank and light self-propelled artillery. They're about equal right now. Um, so what we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna go ahead and pull from the light tanks. Um, and instead, uh, put this into something else. Uh, we got anti-tanks going. That, that works. Um, oh, okay. That's right. We already had one going towards that. All right, so we can't put it in the infantry equipment. It's fine. We'll just leave this as is. This looks good. Uh, and then we can mess with our resources a little bit, see what's going on over here. It seems that we're trading for too much oils. So let's go ahead and fix that. Uh, we do need some tungsten, though, so we'll trade for one more of those. And then we have too much uh, trading for steel going on, so let's go ahead and tick that down. All right, awesome. That should overall end up resulting in more factories for us. All right, nice. So we're going to be getting that very, very soon. Then we can build this up, uh, and then uh, we can start working on those those fortifications and hope we can get those before it's time. Uh, but yeah, if you guys know how I can lock my mouse to this one monitor, uh, I'd love to hear from you. I'll probably look into it myself, see if I can figure it out, because that would be really, really helpful. Got another light cruiser done as well. Um, and then, so yeah, what I was saying, though, is that if we went to war with the Axis before we were ready... Um, <laughs> it, it could be really, really bad, guys. Like, okay, we can defeat Bulgaria here. I, I'm confident we can defeat Bulgaria. Uh, but I also believe, um, and it looks like Soviet Union is calling us into the war because they're losing it. Uh, but we're not going to do that because we want to use our. We're going to use our own. Um, I know the wars are going to merge anyway, so it's not a big deal. Uh, it looks like this is getting messed up. Um, that sucks. We're just going to pull it this way. What we're going to do? We're going to pull it back over there, and hopefully that'll stop them from going over to those those provinces. Uh, which is not what I want because, yeah, we're getting attrition in those areas. So, yeah, I do not want that. What I might do is just create this all one front now that I'm thinking about it because we're going to want to invade down this way anyways. Yeah. You know what? Let's do that. Uh, plus, they're not getting any kind of planning bonus over here. Um, so some of these guys need to be added into um, this army here. What we're going to do, let's go and delete this. Um, hmm. Yeah, that's going to result in... You know what? It's fine. It's fine if they, they move. I'm okay with it. Uh, let's just go ahead and pull. Oh, we can't because they're not in a faction yet. All right, got it. So we have to keep it over here any damn ways. All right, well, these guys are going to go into the training army. Uh, so let's find them staying there. Uh, a couple other guys might have to move. Nope, they're good to go. All right, so uh, we weren't able to do anything with that. Uh, but yeah, you know, I think that the Italians, at the very least, Germans might pump a couple divisions down here. They have a lot of other places to fight, so they might not. Um, looks like Sweden's going to be losing soon. Uh, Spain is holding out all right, though, uh, which is good. And I understand what people were saying is, you know, get in the war while Germany's fighting in other places, which I agree with. Um, 
but yeah, we, we do want to be ready though, uh, because yeah, the, the Germans might throw a couple divisions down here. Uh, the Italians are probably going to pump a bunch of divisions. That's what I expect anyway. Uh, so yeah, we want to make sure that we're secure here. We don't want to lose this area, lose Constantinople, and then have uh, troops invading into our territory. That would not be good. Um, why are these guys not going on this front? Um, yeah, I guess they're saying supply. So let's just go ahead and move them uh, ourselves. Let's put them into... Let's put them right there for right now. That's fine. All right, get on over there. Uh, so they're actually on that front. Uh, so they're working on uh, their planning bonus and all that good stuff. Uh, everybody over here is currently trained up. Excellent. We've got a couple here that are, are uh, done training. Let's go ahead and take them and put them onto that fr that front right there. Um, and I believe we should end up being exact. Looks like we have three divisions over there. Um, so yeah, it should be exactly 24, which is where I want, what I want to be at. I want to have a larger army on that side of things. So we did get the demand Mosul. Uh, so that's awesome. Now we could declare war on Iraq anytime we want, or the Assyrian Empire. Um, let's just see what we want to get next. Uh, so one of the things that was brought up, though, was the... Um, God, there's a technology sharing here. Uh, somebody wanted to know if that was a research bonus. That's not a research bonus. Uh, or somebody thought that was extra research slot. Excuse me. It's just research bonuses. Uh, three of them, uh, which is helpful, of course. But, you know, we're obviously not going to draw closer to Britain. Uh, that's not our route. Not what we're looking to do. I think what we want to do is go ahead and continue our... Our... Uh, Infantry type stuff. Let me just take a look and see. Oops, my bad. Uh, see what uh, bonuses would be most useful to us right now. We almost have all the infantry ones at the moment. Uh, that would be helpful for, I guess, support weapons. We'd be able to get that one quicker. Um, land doctrines, though, on the other hand, I feel like we need that more at the moment. So let's go ahead and get the research bonus for the land doctrines, um, which is right, right there. All right, so we're gonna go and grab that up. Um, and yeah, we're, what we're waiting on to declare war is I want to get these troops trained up a bit more. Also, remember, we're building fortifications, or we will be soon. Uh, and we need to get the uh, infrastructure there built up. Uh, so yeah, this is going to take a little while, but I'm hoping that we can get this war started this episode. Uh, but this is actually a good thing uh, with Iraq getting deeper into Persia. Um, very good thing, guys. Uh, because yeah, that's, that's a longer border for the Iraqis to defend. Uh, they're going to have difficulty with that. Um, so, so yeah, it's all helpful. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I, I think what the overall plan is going to be, guys, just kind of go over this. So we're going to have the Red Army over here. Red Army is going to be focusing on the Balkans. Uh, they're going to attempt to, uh, you know, conquer Bulgaria. After Bulgaria, they'll probably have to split, uh, to come on this border here to go, you know, march into Yugoslavia. Uh, and then the other side, uh, force will have to go into Greece. I imagine that's going to be a very tough fight. They have a lot of divisions. They're going to be in mountains. I don't even know if we're going to be able to advance down that way. Um, it's going to be challenging, that's for sure. Looks like we're short on supply somewhere uh, over here in Iran. Okay. Um, not seeing... Okay, a little bit of attrition there, but that is Soviet troops. Okay. Um, but yeah, that's, that's what the Red Army's going to do. Uh, maybe once they finish in Greece, we'll be able to have a, a push all the way up Yugoslavia and then into Germany um, and Italy and Austria and all that area. We'll just have to see. It uh, looks like there's a successful naval invasion here by the French. How It looks like the British did push the Germans completely out. Swedes, on the other hand, not doing so well. They're probably going to lose soon, which is actually a good thing for us because, remember, the Soviets are, are concentrating on this border hardcore. Uh, Non-aggression pact by Portugal? No, thank you. Um, so, yeah, let me also take a look at the uh, Saudi Arabia and see where they're at on uh, communism here. They're at 32%. Uh, and then the other country we're working on is Brazil. Uh, so let's go ahead and swing over here and take a look at them. They're at 32% as well. All right, so they're both at 32%. Nice. Uh, these guys are still training up. Still got a lot of work to do on those, I guess. Um, God, I really want to declare war here in the spring uh, that's coming up. Um, but yeah, I don't I don't like where we're at on uh, these guys still training. Uh, so we could change manpower laws. We don't need to do that yet. Right now, the problem isn't manpower. The problem is equipment. Really, really short on equipment. Uh, what we're going to do, let's just take a look if there's anything here that's going to be extremely useful for us. Um, no, I'm <laughs> not really seeing it. Uh, none of these are, I mean, that one's really helpful. Uh, you do these, these uh, unity every week, though. I guess we'll probably just go for the cultural norms, daily political power costs. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's not even that beneficial. I don't even want to waste anything on that. Division attrition would be nice uh, to get here. Um, but let's take a look at what we can get for cheap air force. That'd be helpful to get the air superiority bonus uh, right away. Uh, and then we want to get our armor. And let's do the armor one, division attack. Yes, sir. Let's go and get that. Awesome. Uh, so yeah, we're just waiting for it to finish training up here. Um, when the red army, you know, they'll be doing that, uh, the blue army, they'll focus on conquering Iraq and then we're done there. We'll probably have to split them and have one March. Um, I mean, this is technically all part of the Assyrian empire. March over here. I want to take the, uh, Suez canal 
and then we're going to create a defensive front here because I don't want to advance all deep into Africa. Uh, we're just not going to have the troops to do it. Uh, Sweden has capitulated. All right, that is good news, even though it has gone in German hands, so that's bad. Um, but overall, this is going to help our faction out. Um, now there's only uh, Norway in the war. They're the last ones to be defeated. And they're already 53% towards being defeated. Uh, Italians have invaded here. Germany will probably wipe them out very, very soon. Uh, so there's going to be a peace treaty there. And we're just going to see what happens. Um, it's going to be very interesting. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how that's going to, how it's going to happen because it's two different factions uh, that are not in the same war against them. So I have no idea how that's going to end up working, guys. Uh, it's going to be kind of weird. Uh, we'll just have to see what happens there. Now, hopefully our faction gets something. We were the first ones to go to war with them, so hopefully we get something out of it. Um, but yeah, the uh, Blue Army, like I said, set up a defensive front here. And then we're also going to have to defend uh, from the Japanese. You know the Japanese are going to invade into Iran. Uh, so we're going to have to set up a defensive perimeter so that they don't uh, invade into our own territory. So the Federal Republic of Venezuela has joined the Allies. Okay, that's... Okay, what, what happened? Okay, so yeah, Fall also got that. Uh, let's just sing up here. Um, they went Democratic. Interesting. All right, so they're Democratic now, and they're now a member of the Allies. All right, so that's one more country uh, to be going to war against. I believe there's several factions here that are in the Axis. Yeah, um, there's, a, there's a couple countries, I believe. Oh, wait, no, they're Allies. All right, so it's just Peru. Uh, they're the only Axis faction in uh, South America. All right, so uh, yeah, they got another ally. Um, that's, that's a good thing. Uh, and then uh, this this country here, I really hope Brazil comes on over to our faction. That'd be helpful if we had an ally in the uh, Americas, since uh, the Americas are very much in the conflict in this uh, in this mod. Just looking at our guys training here, there's still a lot to go. I would like to be at war. I want to declare war in May. That's when I want to see the war start, guys. Um, I think that'd be the best uh, option for us, and I'm hoping Norway will be done at that point um, so that the Soviet Union can focus on their borders here. And that's another thing uh, when, when in regards to the Axis. Let's go ahead and pick something over here. I believe we're going to get... Oh, we're waiting on that land doctrine. I suppose what we can do is go ahead and grab this one, uh, the support weapons four. I don't know if we're going to get mechanized, guys. I really don't know, um, because one thing to be considered is the fact that mechanized is not as fast as motorized and I kind of want our tank units to be really really fast although I think mechanized might be as fast as those tank guys let me just take a look here um, no 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 the tanks are actually faster than mechanized okay um, so yeah I kind of want the the light tanks to be really, really fast so so yeah it might not go mechanized plus we don't really have the production to build it right now um, we're just not in that position so I kind of feel like we shouldn't uh, get that. We do want to get shock troops, get that soft attack up since we do have those. Uh, we have mountain troops as well, so getting their organization up would be useful as well. But let's go and do support weapons four first. Um, get our infantry uh, improved. Uh, so hopefully uh, this war with Iraq goes smoothly. Uh, but yeah, that's another thing to consider though, guys. Uh, the Romania only has a few divisions. Bulgarians will be able to invade them, probably destroy them pretty quickly. Uh, Polish don't even have enough borders to defend, or enough troops to defend their borders against Germany. Uh, and the Soviet Union doesn't seem to be too interested in doing it either. Uh, we did get that. Um, what I want to do is go all the way to get the research time. That's the whole reason why we're working on that. So let's grab that up. Um, but yeah, I think I think it's good for us to uh, to wait a little bit. Um, but I do want to go to war this episode, if at all possible. Uh, we're about halfway through, um, so we'll see. We'll see if we can get in there. Um, we're done over here now. Awesome. Um, I believe uh, we want to go ahead and start working on industrial techs now, because we are in 1943. Let's do let's do dispersed industry four. Let's make our factories more efficient. Uh, how are we doing on? Oh, okay, nice. We finished all these up. Awesome. So when does this finish up? That finishes up in May. I think instead of working on that, though, I want to build the fortifications up a little bit more here. I didn't know we would get done that quickly. So let's build these up a bit more. Let's do like so uh, and get those uh, built up to three. And then we'll see where we're at. Yeah, this is our fallback line, guys. I feel like and normally, I, as you guys know, I don't really focus on defense much. Um, you know, I, I, I usually intend to win. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm like, oh, I don't need to build defenses up. I was talking to somebody in a past campaign, you know, one from oh, a while back. Uh, they're kind of going through a campaign. I was talking to him about that, um, about how, uh, yeah, he was saying I don't focus on defense enough. Um, I don't build my defenses up. Uh, and that's because I, I try and win. I don't um, have a goal of, of losing. Um, so, yeah, I don't I don't usually build the defenses up very much uh, because, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't plan on falling back. Uh, but in this particular scenario here, there is that chance that we could end up losing. So, uh probably not a bad idea for us to uh, build those up. I do want to get the air doctrines, guys. Um, but let's focus on industry for right now. 
We have those unlocked. I think we should. Uh, we have outdated equipment as well. Uh, infantry equipment. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and get that. Uh, going out there to our troops. The next level. So I'm just kind of watching these guys. I'm really hoping they get done soon. A lot of them are not even close, though. So, so yeah, we'll just... Well, I guess they're level... Five. Yeah, okay, they're almost all done. All right, awesome. So we might actually end up getting all those guys done training uh, in time for this conflict, uh, which we really want because El Salvador just joined the Axis. All right. So, yeah, another American country going over to them. Uh, so, yeah, that was that, that troop that we just threw over here. Uh, this division here that said if he went there, it would cause supply issues. So, yeah, not not surprising. <laughs> we knew that that was going to end up happening. I wonder how we could fix the supply situation there. Um, let's just take a look here. Uh, all right, the okay, there's a bottleneck. Got it. That's what the problem is. Um, so even though we built that up, there's still a bottleneck. Um, okay, where is it, though? Let's take a look here. Okay, so the bottleneck is actually coming out of Ankara. All right, let's... Um, Probably because, yeah, their infrastructure in Ankara is too low. So maybe we want to build the infrastructure up in Ankara. Um, yeah, build up to level 6 or whatever. And then maybe this way, like so. Yeah, I think we ought to do that. Oh, I never ticked that down. My bad. All right, um, let's let's actually put these up at the top. I think supply is a little bit more important at the moment. So let's go and get those guys building up. Uh, will it be done in time for the conflict? No, probably not. All right, that's unfortunate. We did get our uh, national focus fin finished up here, which does give us that land doctor research bonus. Um, so do we want, no, no, we're not worried about the Soviet threat. Not at all. Um, fortify uh, Ezerum. Uh, where is uh, Ezerum? Hmm, I'm gonna have to take a look at that. I don't actually know. Uh, oh, there it is. All right, so uh, that's, that's Ezerum. Uh, we don't want to fortify that. Um, well, damn it. That sucks because, yeah, to move along here, we're going to have to fortify one of them. All right, well, that's that's unfortunate. Um, yeah, because I don't really want to go towards either of those. So I don't think we're going to work on these just yet, guys. Uh, I prefer going down that branch. Let's just see if there's anything else we want to, to get. Um, I know that we want to claim Cyprus eventually. Um, we're also going to want to go on this as well. Uh, that's going to give us some nice bonuses. Uh, so we might want to go against uh, go for that soon. Uh, that's because that's going to make those into core territories. Uh, and then I think we should also start working on our air stuff soon. Um, yeah, I think that's what we're going to do next. Let's go and work on our air bonuses. Uh, we could do air doctrines. Um, yeah, let's let's go and do air doctrines, guys. Let's get ourselves an air doctrine bonus um, so that when we're ready to start working on those, we'll be able to. Uh, we have exile divisions. Where at? Um, oh, shit. What happened here? Wait a minute. Hold up. Hold up, hold up. What is the fuck is going on? Um, we're not at war with them, are we? That doesn't make any sense. How do they take our territory from us when we're not at war with them? They just own this? What the fuck happened, man? They must have had a national focus that gave them territory. Oh, wow. How can you take territory from us and us not get a notification? It's, it's stuff like that that I find to be extremely frustrating overall uh, with mods because they they do some weird shit, guys. Uh, I mean, it doesn't make any sense. How can they, like, they just take this from us? Like, we just lost this territory? I mean, this is our state. Uh, we just lost it. Yeah, that is really, really irritating. Um, and you know what? If, if there's national focuses for that, then whatever. Uh, but you know what? You should notify me. I should probably be uh, told, hey, you just lost this territory, you know? Um, but yeah, I was never notified or anything, so that's pretty fucking frustrating. All right, well, whatever. Nothing to be done about it. I'm gonna take these guys, um, throw them in the blue army, and then give them their own front. Just along here, since these have to be separate fronts, because the, uh, yeah, they're in separate factions or whatever. So, so, and then we're also gonna go ahead and give them a, uh, a line here. Uh, we're gonna want them to, um, I believe that, yeah, we're gonna want them to go through all this territory here. Just like so. Although, nope, that's all fucked up because, yeah, this is not the same faction. All right, I was hoping that would work out, but yeah, it didn't. It didn't work out. We're just going to have to do it like so. Whatever. Uh, that'll have to do. Um, and we'll just we'll increase it up to here as well, I suppose. All right, that'll work. Um, so, yeah, they can start getting a planning bonus there. Um, and, yeah, all of our troops are almost done training over here. These guys are, of course, exiled, so they got to get out of there. Um, hopefully, they get out of there quickly. I I'm wondering how the hell this happened. I mean... No, it's saying that they're not... No? Okay, yeah, they're the owner and the controller. Okay, yeah, it must have been... 
Yeah, it must have been like a uh, national focus or something. That's the only thing I can think of. Uh, but yeah, very frustrating overall. Uh, give me a notification and I'm not as frustrated, you know what I mean? Uh, if you tell me um, that that's going to happen, then yeah, I, I, I'm okay with it. Um, well, I'm not okay with it. I don't, you never want to lose any territory, of course. Um, but yeah, we're going to put this guy on over to this one. This guy can come on over to this one. And then this guy here, he's not done training yet. Okay, um, let's see where the rest of these guys are. I believe uh, uh, we're swinging over there. See, I'm losing control, guys. I need to get, need to get, uh, get that locked. All right, so we have 24 divisions here. They're all over here. That is awesome. We are taking attrition all across there, though, uh, which is unfortunate. We just can't supply our troops here. Uh, hopefully, we can get that that fixed, though. Um, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know if this is. Yeah, it's probably not going to be. It's not going to work out, guys. Uh, infrastructure is not going to be high enough. So, yeah, we're going to be just taking attrition here, which I, I suppose what we could do is take a couple of the divisions out for right now um, to reduce the, the supply issues because obviously we don't we don't want supply issues there. So let's go ahead and see what we can do here, uh, see how bad things are, um, how many troops we actually have to take out here. Um, we can also pull our Navy out, and that would fix the situation a little bit as well. Um, yeah, I think we are going to pull our Navy out. Uh, we'll put them into another location. Uh, we'll put them right there because they're not even damaged right now. So them having to repair is not that big. Of, you know, it's not that much of a concern at this moment. Uh, just until we until we uh, get off this front here, uh, we'll put them over on that one. I'm just trying to look for the the largest naval base. Uh, that one's actually the biggest one. So we'll move the submarines, move the submarines over here, and put our fleet over to that one. That'll work out. So that'll reduce the supply issue by a little bit, not much. Um, and then we'll have to take oh probably like. Let's take one or two divisions out and see how that looks. Uh, we'll take a, a couple of these infantry divisions out. Let's take, um, yeah, we got a lot over here on this one. So let's just take two of these guys. Uh, we're just going to bring them out of the army um, and just kind of bring them over here in, our, in, a car, in Kara for right now. Uh, but the plan is to bring them back over here eventually. Uh, let's go ahead and bring these guys. Uh, they're going to come on over to that port. Let's go ahead and move over there. And then we'll bring these ones over to this port here. All right, awesome. That should help fix the supply situation there. Uh, and yeah, we're only waiting on one more division to get finished up. Um, I think we're just about ready, guys. We're just going to wait until our organization goes, uh, gets up. Like I said, May was kind of the goal on when I wanted to declare war. All of our troops are still moving as well. What we're going to want to do is get them going um, by railroad. Well, those guys are almost there. You guys are going to have to come by railroad, though. Uh, come on over here. So this isn't entirely bad. This is the less of a front that we have to defend or have to, you know, push in. Um... I think that this is going to be our inroad in. Uh, the Iraqis are going to get. We're going to be able to come up behind them here, and uh, they're not going to be able to defend. Uh, but I am worried about them joining the faction. Like I said, uh, somebody else in the comments had mentioned that they they're playing the same campaign, and they said as soon as they uh, declare war, they also um, have the Assyrian Empire join the Axis. It seems like maybe because we're neighbors, um, maybe that's what causes them to see it as a greater threat, so they join. Uh, join the Axis faction. I don't entirely know, guys. I don't know exactly why they decided to do it. Um, we can go ahead and increase this here, though. Make sure that we defend this territory, since this is our territory. Um, but yeah, looking looking good here, guys. Um, I think what we're going to end up doing is taking this division and putting them onto the other front once they're done training. Hopefully, they'll be done soon. All right, they are. Awesome. Uh, let's go ahead and get them put over there. Now, as far as building up new divisions, guys, uh, we are going to want to do that. Uh, but first, we're going to want to wait until our numbers are looking a little bit better here because our stockpiles are, are shit right now. Uh, so what we're going to do, uh, we're going to just change a few things up here. Uh, we're going to change up, I think we're going to pull from the light self propelled artillery and the light tanks to make sure that we can uh, get some infantry equipment here going. Um, yeah, I think that might be a, a good idea. Uh, what we could do, let's pull from these as well. We need more infantry equipment. I think that's going to be a major problem. Uh, let's uh, pull from, I almost want to pull from the light self propelled artillery. Um, you know what? Let's let's leave this as is. This looks good. I think this will work for now. Uh, it does mean that we're gonna need a little bit more steel, uh, so we'll go ahead and trade for that. Make sure that none of our uh, ships are being affected by that. It seems that we are also trading for too much tungsten now, so we can go ahead and reduce that. Um, now we're not building so much anti tanks and artillery. Uh, so now we're just waiting um, until. Let me just kind of see here. Uh, it seems that we are having some supply issues in several of these areas. Uh, maybe we don't want to put these guys over there. Um, let's leave them over here. Let's have eight divisions march down this way. Because remember, once they take this territory, they're going to be able to come in here. But of course, that's if if the Assyrian Empire uh, does end up uh, joining the Axis. We don't actually know they will. I expect that they're going to, but we don't know for sure. Uh, so these guys, they're in their own separate army right now. Um, and that's fine. I'm okay with that. And we're going to move them wherever uh, they're going to be needed most. Uh, let me just take a look at the... Uh, oops. 
No, we don't need them in their separate thing. Uh, let's just take a look at the Red Army here. Uh, you know what we could do? Yeah, let's go and do a separate theater here. Um, and then put the, the two armies in there. Um, or the main armies, I should say, and take the defensive armies. Um, and keep the defensive armies in their own little separate thing. I like that better. Uh, so, yeah, let me just take a look. It looks like uh, almost everybody has their planning bonus up. Let's kind of take a look on this side of things. Uh, still a little bit of movement around here, so not quite ready. Um, but, yeah, we're going to be declaring war here. I'm thinking, like, mid-May. I'm trying to just build up our stockpiles up just a little bit. Um, just taking a look here. Uh, I mean, the infantry <laughs> equipment is pretty fucking shoddy right now. Pretty bad. Uh, what we need to do, I don't think we're doing this. We need to prioritize uh, reinforcements. We should have been doing that a long fucking time ago. All right, well, whatever. Uh, and then also let's go and pri prioritize this this army here so that these guys are not being prioritized. We'll go ahead and put them down on a lower setting. Um, looking good, guys. Um, so we do have some army experience to make some changes, but we're going to wait to do that until we can really uh, make some big changes to our, um, our tank units. All right, so we're about mid-May here. Uh, I think we're going to go ahead and uh, declare war. I think we're about ready, guys. I think everything is looking good. Uh, let me just kind of swing through here and see. Uh, yeah, uh, some guys don't have their planning bonuses up, but it's fine. Let's go ahead and do it, guys. Uh, let's declare war. We're going to do our own focus. Now, like I said, this is probably going to merge the two wars, um, but that's fine. Um, you know, it, the the Soviets, they, they didn't want to let me join the war in the first place anyway. So we're in the war. Let's see if they join the faction. Um, what we're going to do is we're just going to manually control. I did forget to give them planes, so that's my bad, guys. Uh, we'll do that now. It looks like that, that one's all uh, fully occupied there, um, but that's okay. We have another air base right here. Let's go ahead and put our fighters here. Uh, we're going to put um, 200 fighter ones, I believe. Um, well, it doesn't matter because they're going to upgrade themselves anyways. Let's go ahead and put the, the fighter twos. You know what? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and put some planes over here, guys, because we know we're going to need them, and frankly, I want to make sure our best uh, fighters are over here, since on the other side, they're not going to be battling anybody. Um, the uh, Iraqis, last time I checked, don't have uh, don't have an air force. Um, so I want to make sure that we've got our best guys over here. And let's just go ahead and uh, get those guys changed up. They're going to be assigned to... Oh, they'll be assigned right here for right now, although we're probably going to want to move them to Greece uh, eventually. Let's go ahead and leave them as is. They don't need to be on a mission just yet. Let's go ahead and uh, add some troops over, or some planes over here. Uh, and so one of the, the cool things that have kind of been uh, revealed in a, um, a tweet um, by Podcat is the fact, I think it was Podcat, it might have just been the Hearts of Iron uh, tw uh, Twitter account, I don't remember, um, is the fact, okay, wait a minute, hold up, let me just delete this. Um, I wanted that to be 200. My bad. Uh, is the fact that you'll now be able to send out... Um, hold up. Let's just get this done. <laughs> let's send all these guys. And uh, so you now be able to send out uh, volunteer air forces. That's pretty fucking cool, guys. I'm, like, really excited about that. So, yeah, that's that's something that uh, the Axis did uh, in the Spanish Civil War. So I think it's something that should be in the game. Um, but yeah, it's, it's at the moment. It's not. Let me just take a look and see if the Iraqis do have an air force. I don't think they do. No, they don't. All right. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want uh, mostly close air support on this side of things and then dive bombers. All right. Awesome. We're going to go ahead and put, let's see here, uh, put these two dive bombers over here as well. All right. So, uh, what I think we should do is in fact, we should probably should have switched these up. It's fine for right now. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and put them into the Middle East. Uh, so we're probably going to have some issues until we get our troops, until we get our planes over here. Uh, once we do, we're going to see a, um, a, a much more rapid advance uh, by our troops. Uh, because as you can see, they do outnumber us by quite a bit uh, across these fronts here. I don't even know if we'll be able to uh, win any attacks here. We're going to attempt to anyways. Uh, but let's let's see if we can do it. Let's go ahead and send these guys in. Uh, can these guys attack? No, they can't. All right, so we're going to send them in that way. Uh, let's go ahead and bring these guys in as well. We're just going to bring all these troops uh, across here. Um, and they are attacking us right there. That's okay. Uh, we are going to lose that attack. Uh, let's go ahead and send these mountain troops in here. And send uh, these guys in here as well. Uh, currently defending right there. Just to get this, uh, hopefully, this defense one. Uh, we are winning our attack there. So far, the Iraqis have not yet joined. Um, what is this? Uh, looks like... Uh, Bel the Belarusian uh, uh, Socialist Republic. This is our our puppet. Um, nah, we're just gonna decline right now. Yeah, they don't need to be in the war. Because <laughs> I don't even really want them in. Because uh, think about it, Germany's just gonna quickly invade them. Let's just keep them on the outside. I don't even think they have. Do they even have any divisions? They don't have any divisions. Yeah, there's no point in there. They got five planes. There's no point in even bringing them in, guys. 
Um, let me just see when we're gonna get our planes here. Uh, 20th of May on that side of things, and 20th of May over here as well. All right, so it's gonna be about four days before we get our, our aerial assistance. Uh, we did win that attack there, that's awesome. So far, the Iraqis have not joined the Axis. Um, I'm hoping they do not. That's our, that's our hope. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and attack over here now as well, send these guys in. Should be able to get a victory there, hopefully. Uh, let's go ahead and send our tanks in up around this way. Uh, we want them going, um, you know, I'm gonna have them go through Missoul here, uh, go that way. Or you know what, they can just come on around this way. Uh, and then we'll have this division, when he gets here, he can go up around that way. Uh, we're gonna send these guys in this way. Um, hopefully while they're weak, well, it looks like they're not all that weak, Never mind. Let's go and pull that back. We're gonna have to wait till we get a little bit of infantry assistance there. Um, winning over here, winning the defense there. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and attack here. Um, try and make that uh, defense finish up sooner. All right, looking good, guys, looking really good. Uh, we did uh, get to Missoula before those uh, troops did. Let's go ahead and bring these guys up around here, uh, move that way. Uh, you guys, instead of going that way, how about you attack over here instead? Uh, let's send the tanks in too. All right, awesome. Uh, lovely, lovely, lovely. You guys are gonna have to stay in Missoula for right now and hold that for us. It looks like because we took Missoula, we did get several factories here, which is awesome. We definitely need those. Uh, let's put them in the infantry equipment. I really wanna get that building up. Uh, we're also gonna put some into these two here. That is gonna require a little bit of resources here because I don't think we got much from taking this state here. Oh yeah, we did, we got steel and oil, nice. Yeah, that is really helpful. All right, so that means we should be able to uh, remove our trade for oil. Oops, my bad. Uh, yeah, we wanna remove our trade for oil. Let's go ahead and tick that down. Uh, and then we also want to uh, trade for a bit more tungsten. And uh, it looks like the steel situation. You know what? It's only one steel. We're okay for right now, guys. We are a-okay. Uh, just taking a look at the, the situation over here. The supply situation did get solved, by the way. So that's awesome. I'm very pleased with that. So far, the Iraqis have not joined the Axis. I am very surprised. Like I said, when I tested it before, uh, they did join. They very much did join. Uh, what we're going to do, um, are you guys currently on this front? I believe they are. Um, so yeah, get on over there. Go over to that front. I don't need... I don't need them over here just yet, because um, yeah, there's <laughs> nobody, uh, uh, nobody to fight there just yet, which is nice. Um, so we are winning there. Um, we did win here as well. Let's go ahead and move these guys now that we've won there. Uh, you guys are gonna be coming up. Okay, they're already doing that. Excellent. Uh, yeah, looking good here. Um, can we win here? I wonder. Probably not. Uh, you guys, instead of moving that way, how about you? Uh, what we're gonna do? Let's go ahead and support with these guys, and then we're gonna attempt to to attack down this way. Uh, see if we can. Um, looks like it's gonna be a, a rough uh, fight there. Uh, let's try and send these troops in anyway. No, 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 not gonna win there. All right, just go and pull it back. It's okay. No reason to do an attack, we can't win. All right, excellent. So yeah, pushing in all over here. It looks like the tanks are losing there. Uh, instead of going that way, I want you guys to um, just see. I don't know if we're gonna be able to cut these guys off. That's the hope, is that we can cut them off. I'm also trying to move my tanks down here quickly. Um, what we're gonna do, let's go ahead and bring these tanks down here, uh, and then we're gonna bring these ones across. Oh, this is a river, damn. All right, that's a nasty river right there. All right, I don't really wanna get the river penalty if it can be avoided, so instead, let's uh, move our troops. Um, let's move them over this way. Yeah, let's get some assistance over here. See if we can't uh, attack this way and take that territory and push down around here and avoid the fucking river. I think that would be uh, the best thing that we could do here. Uh, so all these guys are gonna wanna move, but uh, whatever, we'll just keep fixing it. Um, so yeah, looking good, guys. Uh, I feel like um, the Iraqis are, are gonna lose because they're not joining. Uh, I don't know why they're not joining them. Like I said, when I ran my, ta my test, they most definitely did join. Um, yeah, they, they did. Uh, so I'm, I'm actually happy with that though. Um, obviously we don't want them joining their faction. Um, so we're bringing more troops over this way, that's good. Uh, since this, all we need is a little token defense force here. Uh, you guys are coming up over this way. Um, you guys, let's let's attempt to attack here. I know that we have troops that are currently leaving, uh, but it's gonna be a little while before they leave. So let's attempt to do a little attack here. See if we can, uh, we can take some territory there. All right, looks like that is gonna be a victory. Plus we're gonna get these guys in there. They're gonna come assist. Uh, we'll attack that way. Uh, make sure that we win there. All right, awesome. So the tank units here have uh, made a little bit of progress. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna attempt to beat um, these guys. Just try and get up around here. That will result in an attack or whatever, it's it's fine. Um, and then I'll attempt to, I don't think I'm gonna beat them. Nope. All right, well that's unfortunate. Uh, let's go and attack over here. Um, just because we're gonna send these guys in as well, uh, we're trying to take trying to take this uh, this territory here, so we can get up to Baghdad. That'd be really really nice. Looks like we're gonna win there as well. Um, the Iraqis are overstretched. They are uh, not in a good situation. Uh, what is this front? All right, this front looks good. Uh, I almost want to go ahead and pull these divisions off now. 
Um, or pull some of them anyway. I think we are going to. Let's just pull a couple of these divisions here. Um, cause yeah, I don't, I don't think we need that many over there. Let's bring them over to this front now. Get on over there so we can, uh, try and advance quicker. Uh, and it looks like we are, this tank unit is going to lose here, unfortunately. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to have these guys come up across, you know, from, from, uh, you know, across the river here. And even if we lose that territory, it's fine. Though this division might get there in time. I just have to see, guys. Um, it looks like a lot of them are pretty far away. So yeah, even if we lose here, I think our, our infantry division should be able to, uh, to move there. Um, so what ended up happening here? Okay, the tank unit's coming here. Uh, looks like he is probably gonna be able to push those guys back because they're fairly weak. Uh, this division here is just moving so fucking slow across there. Uh, we did take that territory there. Um, all right, which remember that's all that territory that we lost and now is gonna be in Persian hands. Oh, happy, happy things. Um, I don't want to invade from uh, Persian territory, so that sucks. Uh, because, yeah, my bad. I messed that up. God damn it. <laughs> I don't want to invade from Persian territory because I don't want them to get any of this. That, that would not be desirable at all. Uh, let's instead just focus on invading down this way, guys. Uh, let's send our troops over here. All these tanks got to get over here. Get over here, guys. Um, and let's, let's focus on uh, going this way. Uh, you guys are going to take the railroads on over here so I can get you there a little bit quicker. All right, awesome. Um, so looking good. Uh, like I said, we're just going to have to uh, have to invade from this way. It sucks. Um, I mean, we do have a little bit of opening here. Um, and it looks like, yeah, these guys got um, somebody attacking them here. Um, well, when do they get there? One hour. When do these guys get here? Hopefully they get there before then they do. I don't want to lose any territory there. Um, but yeah, hopefully we can get Baghdad for ourselves. I do not want uh, our enemy getting it. Uh, when do these guys get here? Uh, 20 hours. Can we beat them? Can we beat them? No, we cannot. All right, well, can we attack? Yes, we can. All right, awesome. Well, maybe it doesn't look like it's going to be a victory. Our troops are fairly weak there, unfortunately. Um, and we don't have any other troops. Uh, so it looks like they got there. That sucks. All right, yeah, that's unfortunate. Let's go and pull it back. All of our troops have a really, really low division, so nothing to be done, or uh, low organization, so really nothing to be done about it at the moment. Let's go and move some more troops over here. Tank units uh, don't look like they're going to be advanced any further. I'll attempt to attack there, but yeah, it looks like we're going to need some assistance. Gonna need some assistance. We're gonna have to wait till our divisions get their asses down here um, before we're really able to do anything. Um, looks like these divisions are pulling out here, which is awesome. That's the reason why I'm not attacking here is because of the river. Um, I'm really hoping that I can get my hands on Baghdad. I want it for myself. I do not want to have to share it. So let's go ahead and get these guys moving quickly. Uh, I don't know where you guys are going, but all these tank units need to attack here. Uh, you guys here, uh, we're gonna send one of them that way and the other one, you know, we're just gonna send them all. Everybody needs to attack. Try and get a win there. Looks like we do have an opening here. Let's go and attack. Take that territory. Um, you guys are going to be coming across. Well, no, can't go across that way. Not yet. Uh, we'll bring this tank unit over this way. Uh, when do they leave? They leave in a matter of hours. Okay, that's fine. We'll just leave them there. Uh, yeah, this is looking good. Let's go and bring all these guys across. Uh, you guys are going to be coming across here as well. Uh, got lots of openings as the uh, Iraqis uh, attempt to focus on protecting their capital. Uh, which is going to have a river here in between us and our troops, unfortunately. Um, but so far, we're the only ones that have territory in this state, so I'm really hoping that this will go into our hands. Um, and we're also invading from the, the uh, uh, north here. Uh, hopefully we can uh, take that territory. Uh, Non-aggression pact from Bulgaria? Hell no. Yeah, the Iraqis didn't join the Axis. So now I'm going to have all those people that are going to be like, see, you should have <laughs> you should have uh, declared war on them sooner. Uh, well, I'm, I'm telling you guys, I, when when we first looked at it, they would have definitely have joined it uh, way back um, before we declared on, on Iran. Um, I don't know what has changed since then, but I didn't know something had changed. So I don't think it was, you know, we can't tell the future. So I don't think it was exactly a bad idea to have waited. Uh, we're going to let these guys leave, um, or at least some of them. Okay, let's go and attack now. Let's see if we can get a win here. Uh, we're going to attack over here with all these troops here. You guys are going to attack as well. Uh, should have some more divisions coming over here that can help us out on that attack. Uh, currently um, making a lot of movement, um, but what I want you guys to do is attack this way. We're going to bring in these two tank units here, and then we're going to have uh, this tank unit assist, and this guy is also going to assist. All right, get a little win there. Come up around here because we can't attack across the river just yet. Maybe we can get Baghdad cut off from the rest of the country. That's the ideal anyway. It looks like we did win there. That is fantastic. Um, what I want to do here is I want you guys to stay there, but they're really keen on leaving, unfortunately. Um, looks like uh, we could come over, bring these divisions this way, but I kind of want to bring a tank unit, come take all this territory because I don't think there's anybody else to do it. Um, 
Yeah, I think we're gonna do a, a tank unit instead of having one of these slow ass divisions do it. Yeah, let's go ahead and bring this guy. Um, he's gonna come over here and he's just gonna come take all this territory. Um, just kind of beeline over to here. We, it might not even be necessary, um, but I'm hoping if it's all in our hands, it won't go into, well, is it, have the, has the war just been merged yet? Let me just take a look here. They have not been merged. So we are at our own war with Iraq. Hopefully we can get them defeated. Um, yeah, that'll be nice. Let's just see what happens there, guys. Uh, I don't know. It might end up... I, I hope this doesn't just go against us, guys. I'll be really, really frustrated if it all just goes into uh, Russian hands. Um, yeah, like if the peace is... Because I think they're a separate war with uh, the Soviets. So who's going to end up getting all the territory? That's the question. I don't know how it's going to end up working, but I have a feeling it's not going to work in our fucking favor because it never does. It never does, guys. Um, what we want to do here uh, is, I mean, that tank unit can can go, but I really want this guy to stay here. Um, we're going to bring this guy over this way, actually. All right, awesome. So still attempting to evade here so we can get Baghdad cut off. Uh, these guys are attacking across a river, which is stupid. I should let them go so that we can just take Baghdad from them. Um, but you know what? Yeah, we're just going to keep defending there. That'll just weaken them so that these troops will be able to get them destroyed. Um, we're going to let his organization get up a little bit higher before we actually attack there. Um, this guy here, I don't really feel like he's needed there. Um, and I don't want you guys leaving here. Uh, what we're going to do, um, we're going to bring these guys down here. And these guys as well. We need all of our troops here so that we can quickly take Bad Dad. Um, I can't let any of them leave either. <laughs> they all going to have to stay there. Uh, so, we'll, we, yeah, there's really no way other than creating a separate front um, to keep them there, unfortunately. And let's just see how it looks like they're gonna, it's going to take them a while to go. So we do have a little bit of time uh, to get all of our troops um, uh, focused here. Uh, let their organization get up a bit. Um, yeah, uh, I think uh, we should be able to take bad down. You know what we need to do? We just need to wait till these guys leave. Yeah, that'd be the best thing for us to do at the moment. Um, what I want to go ahead and do is go ahead and attack here, uh, get these guys moving that way, and we'll just support with these two, these two divisions here. Get a little victory there, keep them on the defensive. Uh, we got our tank units that are currently attacking all through here. It looks like one tank unit did, uh, um, hmm. All right, it looks like he's defending right now. All right, I don't know what entirely, what the hell's going on over here. Feels like we don't have enough division, so what we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna bring, have the, both these guys, um, well, I can't put him on a new front, uh, but we'll go ahead and bring uh, one guy over here. Come on over there. Uh, and he's going to come over here and attempt to help take some territory. Come on over here, take uh, take Tel Aviv. Uh, we did get ourselves a, another factory here, or three more factories. All right, awesome. Let's just go and put those into the infantry equipment since we're short on infantry equipment. Really short on infantry equipment. We're losing a lot in the war right now as well. Uh, and then we're also going to put some um, factories into... Let me just take a look at what the situation is looking like. Uh, I guess we'll do the anti-tanks and the artillery. Um, yeah, let's do that. Uh, we'll do, oh, we only have one. We'll go into artillery then. All right, it'll work guys, it'll be fine. Uh, so what I wanna go ahead and do now, we do have all our troops here um, and they, their organization's high enough. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and send all of them with the accession of one into Baghdad. Um, and then we're gonna have these guys support. Uh, it doesn't look good. Oh, that's right, we're, weren't we waiting for somebody to leave here? Yeah, we were waiting for them to leave. All right, <laughs> I got a little bit too hasty with it. Um, how about you guys come on over here, help us defend that territory there. Uh, looks like they did leave, awesome. Uh, what we're gonna wanna do, uh, we're gonna want to attack there with somebody um, so that uh, these guys can't reinforce Baghdad. Uh, so let's bring the tank units in here. Obviously that would be a good move. Uh, let's also send, uh, we should send this guy in as well. And then we're gonna send a mountain division, one of the weaker ones into that territory and then send these two over to here. Looks like they're gonna lose. They're not gonna be able to uh, help us out there. That's unfortunate. Uh, not gonna be able to lock those units now. We're gonna have to change this up a little bit. Probably take one of these divisions and, and bring him over to here if these guys can't hold them down because that's that's what it looks like it's gonna end up happening. Let's go and bring them over to here. Uh, is there anywhere else that we can make some movement? Uh, we're gonna attack this way. I don't know if either of these are gonna be wins. Looks like that's a no. What we're gonna do is pull this back and then support in that attack, see if we can get a victory there. Do we have any other closer air bases here? No, so we're not getting really, oh, we do right there. All right, let's, uh, let me just see here. Seems that there might not be any openings here. Yeah, there is, there's some room. All right, let's go ahead and bring, uh, I, I suppose 200, 400, I think this is too much. So let's just bring the close air support and the uh, fighters over there. And the other ones will just have to stay here. Although they might be able to get, you know what, they, they can help out. No, they're not helping out there either. All right, uh, we'll just bring them over to here, I guess. It's fine. It's fine. All right, so uh, looks like 
our tank unit did pull back from here because he lost. Let's go ahead and bring him back. Um, bring him back on over there. Because, uh, yeah, I want him to continue taking territory over there. And when are the Iraqis going to give up? Um, I believe they should. Oops, wrong war. I believe they should give up as soon as we take uh, Baghdad. I'm not sure, though. We'll have to see. Uh, we got air innovations. Awesome. Uh, let's see what we want to get next. Um, let's kind of scroll through here. And I think we don't really need to get another air doctrine bonus at the moment. We don't have, we haven't even researched the other one yet. Uh, could get ships, of course. I think we're gonna go ahead and get, we're gonna start moving down this, this branch here. Yeah, let's do that. Awesome. Uh, so Baghdad should be in our hands soon, though it looks like they will be reinforcing in that. Um, hmm, what we're gonna wanna do here, we're gonna send, huh, I think uh, this guy can come reinforce. We're gonna pull this guy out and have him attack that way. Uh, and then we're also gonna send those guys in. And you guys will just have to stay here. When we get this guy, he can come over here and take Bad Dad if necessary. Uh, looks like that will not be necessary. Um, awesome. So we're going to have these guys um, come over here uh, and then help reinforce. Uh, you guys need to come over here as well. All right. Um, what we can do is bring these guys into Baghdad as well. Make sure that we keep that. Uh, let me just take a look at um, the situation, the war situation here. 71% towards capitulation. All right. Are these core territories, is this helping us at all taking this? Um, yes, it is core territories. All right, so we do want to, to take all this territory from them uh, that will have benefits for us. All right, so yeah, we're gonna come up over here and attempt to take Tel Aviv. Um, that is a victory point worth uh, one point. It's not worth a lot. Um, we do have military factories from taking Bad Dan, so let's go and get those assigned. Uh, we're gonna put these into... Yeah, we're just gonna build out this way. Um, I don't know what, how we did on equipment or on uh, resources uh, from that attack uh, getting Baghdad. I don't know that they have a lot of resources there, but... Um, we're going to go and build all these up. We don't have a lot of torpedo bombers, so let's go ahead and put that into there. Uh, we're going to also put some more into support equipment, and that's looking good. We are short on resources all the way across the board here, so we're going to have to trade for these. Um, I'm sure we do get some civilian factories, though, uh, from our conquest. And then let's go and put these into steel, something that we badly need. Uh, just taking a look here. Uh, we got a couple of civilian factories, not much. Uh, the oil situation is great, though. I bet we're getting a lot of uh, uh, civilian factories from that. Um... Yeah, we can currently build one full line right now. Uh, we're building up uh, those fortifications. All right, so uh, currently losing in the attack here. Um, I think what we're going to do is, well, we do need those guys going that way. So I think we'll go ahead and take these guys and make sure that we we don't, uh, we can lock those units down for at least a little bit longer. Make sure that this defense ends up working out in our favor. Um, looking pretty good all the way across the board here. Uh, where are some victory points that we can take that will help us uh, get these guys defeated? Obviously, that situation over there could use a little bit more help. I think we're going to put another tank unit over here. Uh, we're also going to increase this front just a little bit. Hold up. Let's increase it like... Well, no. I guess it looks fine as is. Uh, let's just go ahead and put these guys over there. Get that tank unit um, going over there to assist. Uh, and then we're also going to bring this guy... Well, hmm... I think they still get supply from there. All right, um, it's fine. Uh, we got our support weapons, awesome. Uh, lovely. What we're gonna do, I think we're done. Yeah, we're done up on the top there. Could work on some stuff here. Uh, let's see what else we want. We're already working on something there. Uh, tanks are not, yeah, not needed at the moment. Um, could get artillery. Uh, I think we're going to go and get something here, though. Uh, so we could go disperse the support, line artillery recovery rate, and the uh, line artillery soft attack. Uh, or we can go with the integrated support, and this is our support companies. Um, I think we're going to do the support companies. I always like getting the organization up because it increases your organization of all your, your entire divisions by a lot. Uh, quite a bit. Yeah, let's go and do that, guys. Um, awesome. All right, so, uh, yeah, looking good. Uh, it looks like Iraq... Um, and we ended up having a really, really long episode here, guys. So, um, But yeah, I've been having fun. I've been enjoying it. What does suck, though, is that with the episode so long, it's going to be hard for me to get it out before i got to go to work. Um, but yeah, I had too much fun. Um, but somebody was stating recently that I need to start doing like hour-long little specials and stuff. Anyway, so here's your hour-long special. It wasn't intended. Uh, but yeah, we've got an hour-long special here. Or almost an hour. Um, and yeah, it was with the defeat of Iraq. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. I'm just over here conquering shit, guys, having fun. Uh, but yeah, it looks like they're almost defeated. It would have been awesome if we could have got them defeated in one episode. Didn't end up happening, um, but I'm really, really happy about them not joining the the Axis because, like I said, I don't I don't know that we were ready for war with the Axis just yet. Uh, we might have been on the hand it okay, but could our allies? Um, Polish are really building up, so that's good to see. Uh, Soviet Union though, they're a mess. The Soviet Union's a mess, guys. Um, yeah, I just don't know how well they would have done here. Um, 
Yeah, I don't know. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and end the episode here, guys. Uh, this extra long episode, and hopefully I can get it edited before I gotta go to work. That's gonna be a, oh, that's gonna be a task. Uh, because yeah, I gotta leave here in, oh, about an hour. So I got an hour to get this, this edited and uploaded. Um, and then and my wife will probably end up making it public for you guys tonight. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did enjoy this extra long, extra long episode, make sure you leave a like, leave a comment. Love hearing from you guys. Some of you guys can go in there and you know say I told you so. <laughs> that should have declared war in Iraq. But like I said, we didn't have um, we didn't have any method to declare war on them until the Soviets asked us to go into the war. Um, and getting our own war was actually beneficial uh, because we might get our own peace treaty and maybe we'll get it before the Soviets. I don't know. We'll just have to see what happens there. Either way, um, I, I think it was better waiting. Uh, I don't know that we had to wait till May though. We could have declared war as soon as we had that, that, um, war goal in, in March, but we're talking about a matter of months guys. It's okay. We got our troops trained up. They're looking good. Look at them beautiful troops right there. So yeah, let's, let's, uh, leave it here. Leave that like, leave that comment, uh, subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching guys.